Hello and welcome to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Steph and today is my Christmas day and this morning I received the Melt Beetlejuice palette, the recently deceased. I'm so excited that I've got this. Um, obviously this is the finished look and also I do have a special guest at the end. If you don't like snakes, I will pre-warn before she comes out but for those of you who do then hang around to the very end and you will meet Lorelei she is a sand boa today she is the sandworm so if you would like to see how I created this look and meet Lorelei then just keep on watching so you guys will have already seen the look that I created uh, but obviously I'm just really excited to uh, see what this palette can do but firstly I'm just going to show you this is the outer box that it came in how beautiful is that it's so gorgeous I'm definitely going to be keeping that and now on to the palette look at that it is absolutely stunning and then when you open her up how can we do that oh, I don't know if you can see the slip in there the seam from the graveyard oh and then we take the slip out and then this is what she looks like oh so uh, I'm so excited so excited so the first colour I'm going to be putting on my eyes is Beetlejuice. I'm so excited. <laughs> I don't want to ruin his face. <laughs> but needs must. Oh look at that green. <gasps> oh <laughs> that green is so gorgeous. So this is my first time playing with melt eyeshadows as well so I have not tried any melt eyeshadows before now everything I've got on my face will be listed in the description box below if you want to know uh, but today it is all about the recently deceased palette look at that colour it is so pretty. I knew I was getting this, so I have been so excited. I've been like a kid waiting for Christmas just so I could put this on my eyes. Ah. Oh, I'm ruining his face. Sorry. <laughs> so, for me, right now is Christmas Day. Um, I doubt very much you'll be seeing this on Christmas Day, but you never know. Just blending the edges out a bit there. Oh, the brush I'm using, sorry, is the Spectrum A12 from the Disney Mickey Mouse collection. I'm kind of finding everything else just not exciting while I'm playing with this. This is so beautiful. So the next colour I'm going into is this one here, Draw a Door, and I'm going to use that to go over the edges of Beetlejuice. They're blending so nicely. Very grinchy, <laughs> this, uh, this look at the moment. So I'm going back into Beetlejuice, just to... Blend that back in there because I think I kind of lost it quite a lot. This blending draw a door in, and I don't want to lose it because it's such a beautiful colour. Oh, I feel like I'm attacking Beetlejuice by stabbing the brush in his face, but. Needs must. You've got to go on my eyes. Oh, it's just created this really kind of toxic green that I am loving. Wow, look at that. Isn't that stunning? 
beautiful right i can't remember who it was i saw is it brianna um somebody i saw used paranormal this deep green um like a matte so i'm going to try and do that kind of to deepen up It is actually working. That's amazing. That just makes the palette all the more kind of versatile. The fact that you can do this. Oh, look at that blend. It just blends in just perfectly. Wow. I can't believe how well this is working. <laughs> wow. Always worth a try doing something different. Now that's actually blended out like a map. I'm putting it at the edges because I'm I'm going to uh, pop some glitter primer on and use this as a shimmer on the outer edge. So it is going in the look in two ways. This is so good. If you have this palette, I urge you use the green as a matte as well, the uh, paranormal, because that's worked out really really well my god look at that that is beautiful right i am going to nip off pop on some uh, nyx glitter primer and then i'll come back to do the rest of the eye look with you so don't go anywhere okay so the glitter primer is on so the next color i am going to be dipping into is neurotic this beautiful shimmer up here and this one's going to go on the inner part oh look at that that is so pretty can you see that these shades are just a little bit special I mean, I was always going to love it because it's Beetlejuice. But these shadows are so nice. I just want to take that up there. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Oh. Let's bring it a bit more in. I kind of want that more across my eye now. I've seen what that looks like. Oh my god look at it and I'm going to now dip into paranormal the shimmer green and use it as a shimmer yeah, the brush I'm using is just a little flat brush from the Morphe and M -M -M Mitchell collection so let's see how this behaves as a shimmer Ooh. We've already discovered it makes a very nice matte green. Oh, I am living for these colours. And then back in with Neurotic. I'm just blending that into that green. Right, so just using a little Jessup 226 smudger, I am going to take Bio Exorcist, this purple here, and I'm going to, sorry Beetlejuice, I'm going to be placing that under my eyes because I really want some purple as well. Oh, 
I have heard that both of these purples are very close to each other in colour, but I'm going for this one because it does look slightly lighter in the pan, slightly lighter and brighter. I am having absolutely no issues with any of these shades. I am so happy. I think actually now that I've blended that in, I do want to try Lost Souls just right against the lash line. So let's just get the tiniest bit on the end of the brush. And I want to try maybe a little bit more than that. <laughs> try just stamping that in there. Oh, yeah, I think that does add a little something. So I'm just using the Jess Up 230 Lux pencil and I'm just taking the tiniest bit of Bio Exorcist, the lighter purple, and I'm just going to smudge the edges out just a little bit more. Yes. Oh, I cannot. That's so beautiful. Look at those colours. I am in love with this palette. It is just so beautiful. And I've kind of, I haven't ruined Beetlejuice's face completely as yet. The green shimmer is a bit more flaky in the pan and when you use it, but as you can see, it works beautifully both blended in and used as a matte or on the lid as a shimmer. So, so happy. <laughs> Look at that. Right, so I'm going to nip off, finish my face and then come back to show you the final look. So don't go anywhere. Okay, so this is the finished look. What do you think? I'm so happy with it. I will list everything else I've popped on my face in the description box below. But I did go in with uh, this one here, um, Coro from Juvia's Place the Tribe palette for my inner corner highlight and my brow bone highlight. So if you don't like snakes and you don't want to hang around to meet Lorelei the sand boa, aka the sandworm, then uh, I will say goodbye to you now. So thank you for watching. If you've liked the video, please give it a thumbs up or a like. It really helps me out. And if you are not subscribed already, then I hope you'll consider sticking around, hitting the subscribe button and hitting the notification bell so you don't miss when I upload next. So for those of you who do want to meet Lorelei, then uh, ready. <laughs> here she is. This here is Lorelei. Lorelei is a sand boa. And today, she is the sandworm. So Lorelai, say hello to everyone. I thought she was perfect for a look with the Beetlejuice palette, seeing as she kind of resembles the sandworm a little bit. So yeah. Right Lorelai, shall we put you to bed? So she's off to bed now, and then I'll come back to say goodbye to you all. Okay, so that is it for today's look, my Christmas day. You've met Lorelei, the sandworm. Well, she's a sand boa, really, but for today, she's the sandworm. So yeah, if you've liked this, please give it a thumbs up, like, it really helps me out. If you're not subscribed already, then please, I hope you'll consider sticking around and hitting the subscribe button. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss when I upload next. So I will bid you all Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, um, Happy Yule, whatever you're celebrating, I hope you have a great time. So thank you for joining me today and I will see you again very, very soon. Goodbye.